What is up guys, this is Justice Guild, back here for another episode of Detroit Become Human. I'm uh, really enjoying this game, so we're going to get right back into it and see what we can get up to. Let's continue the game. So, I've been really enjoying this game, and I hope that we can get some more done as soon as I turn off this fan. Guys, can you hear the fan? No, I'm going to turn it off. Give me a second. I did try to become Uman. So excited for this. Let's see what we can get up to in this episode. So I'm assuming we're back with Marcus. Good old friend Marcus. Rightio. Let's get going here. I feel so sorry for Marcus. Oh, it looks like he lives in a nice house. Thank you. Very nice to be home. Deposit the package. Uh, just uh, put it down. Go. This is obviously not my home, right? This is going to be my home. Wake Carl upstairs. Oh, so this is Carl's house. Okay. Where's Carl? Carl. Carl! Carl! Is Carl in here? Carl. Carl, wake up, you lazy bastard. Draw our curtains. Is Carl nice? Oh, shit, sorry. Oh, I don't even have to hold it in. That's cool. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy. 54 degrees. 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. <laughs> and Minister... I pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Carl, you silly dog. Thank you. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Oh. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Okay. Let's go to the bathroom, Carl. I always forget which button's which. Oh, I don't want to let go of that. I might kill him. Alright. Okay. Goody, goody, goody. Good. Alright. So I'm liking Marcus's storyline. I think it's pretty cool and I feel like there's a lot of things gonna go right for him. I feel like he's gonna become someone important. He's gonna... He's going to show people that he's... You know, he's a good guy. He's going to show people that he's not one to be messed with. I feel like he's, he's going to evolve. Because no one's just going to spend the whole Marcus storyline just helping this old guy. He has to be something more. Alright, let's go Marcus. I mean, Carl. <laughs> oh, I like this game. It's awesome. There's not many games... on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Rio? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. 
Let's go, Carl. Let's go have some breakfast, shall we? I, I assume that's what you do when you get up in the morning. Breakfast. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you <gasps> like. Thank you. I fucking love bacon and eggs. Tuck Carl to the dining table. Which way? Over here? Oh, there we go. Good man. Okay. Serve breakfast. I will go get your breakfast, Carl. Where, where is it? Where, where is his breakfast? Uh, is this it here? That's chess. Where's his breakfast? I'm slightly confused. This is a kitchen because I'm really confused. Breakfast, where's his breakfast? Serve, oh, am I supposed to go in here? Oh, it's obviously in here because this is the kitchen. Duh. Oh, here we go. Yes. Beautiful breakfast. I am loving this game. This is... Whew, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is so cool. But I still love Connor. If I had to pick favourites, I'd go Connor, Marcus, and then Kara. Nothing against Kara. It's just like Connor and Marcus are such cool people. And Kara's very caring, but I prefer playing as... um. These two. Up. <gasps> Ooh. Thank you, Marcus. You're very welcome, Carl. Television. Oh, I like this. I like serving people. It's fun. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Mm. Okay, Carl. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, I just walk around and explore. Find something to do. Oh, what's this? Something over here. Where are we? Where are we, Marcus? Where are we in the big wide world? Piano. Alright, let me try this, see how it goes. Let's see how this goes. Oh, please, is this quick time? Because this is going to kill me. Okay. Melancholic, hopeful, intimate, or enigmatic? Intimate. Okay, intimate. What is this? Uh... Shit. I like this guy. This is so nice. <laughs> Does this stop or do I have to stop it? I'm done. I I just you finish breakfast, sir. Something has changed in the way you play. Um. Oh. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. Oh, Carl, stop it! One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. Oh. You'll have to protect yourself. Carl. You make your choices. Decide who you are. Carl. You become. Carl, please. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. I won't, Marcus. I won't. I mean, Carl. Oh my god, I can't believe I keep getting their bloody names mixed up. Get up. Get up, Marcus. You have to take Carl to his room. Take Carl to the studio. Oh, he has his own studio. 
Fancy man. Take Carl to the studio. I like this. Can we just do this the whole game? <gasps> oh, I like this. Holy moly, this guy's fancy. You've got to be joking me right now, right? Let's I see want where we left off. Remove the sheet. Yes, Mark, uh, uh, Carl. What is wrong with me? I should know that who who's who. Yes, Carl. I'm sorry, Carl Manfred. Wait for Carl's instructions. Clean the studio. We're back to cleaning. Great. I like Marcus. He's a really cool dude. Jesse Williams has done an amazing job in this role. I, I like it. He's cool. Good job. Right, that's just looking. I saw something else over here. And Brian Deckard. Brilliant, brilliant performances. Oh, I saw something there. Pick all this crap up. Unbelievable, Mark. Uh, Carl. 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 Carl! Sorry. I'm a big Walking Dead fan. I can't stop. When I see Carl, I just go, Carl. Shit. What do you want me to do? Don't get me to paint, please. I'm not good. I've painted before and I'm not good. Nice. Ooh, very nice. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Oh god, I knew she was gonna ask this. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? What would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> Just do it, Marcus. Just do it, Marcus. Don't argue. Alright. Thanks, Carl. Let's do this. Find a subject to paint. Find the statue, paint the desk. Oh, I'm painting Carl's painting. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, jeez. I'm actually good at this. All I have to do is do this. That was too fast. Way too far. Perfect copy of reality. Thank you, Carl. It's not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. But... Go on, go try it. Grab that canvas. All right. Just do it, Carl. My Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust I me. Well, I trust you. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist. Something you've never seen. Mm -hmm. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel. And let your hand drift across the canvas. Okay.
This is beautiful, like I'm legit, this is beautiful. It's such a nice tender moment between man and machine. Whoa, dude, you've got some talent. I oh, know. Oh no, who's this? Oh, you're a drug addict. Hey dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Okay. What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No, 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 I swear it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient. Not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Gee Willikers, that guy's an asshole. Bloody dickhead. Why do you have a son like that, Carl? I thought you were a nice man. The painter. Alright, let's do one more chapter in this little part. Let's continue. Let's just do it. Let's continue. Let's continue. Who are we with now? Are we with Kara and Alice? Oh! Oh, is this Connor? Oh, let it... Yes, it's Connor! Yes, love Connor. Let's do this. Let's do whatever this thing has in store for us. No androids allowed. Well, guess what? I'm a savage. I'm going in. Find Lieutenant Anderson. Uh. Hmm. Who's this dude? This dude looks. How do I scan his face? Hang on. This dude looks like. Oh no, no I've seen Hank in the trailers. I know what he looks like. Ah, hello. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Alright. You don't listen to me? I'm gonna have to start getting a bit. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Really? Alright. You know what? I'm gonna try and be nice to Hank. I'm gonna buy him another drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? 
Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. I don't think you need a double. Homicide. Oh, jeez. Shitty music. And I'm just gonna follow him anyway. Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he drove by. Ah. Going on. That's when he found the body. Oh, jeez. worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time they hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Renew evidence. Alrighty. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. Oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. <sighs> Jeez. Oh, let's analyze. No fingerprints. Android involvement. Hmm. Looks like we got an angel. That's perfect. That's way too neat. No key. Try blood. Human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. You're right, Red Ice. Victim used drugs. Hmm. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there?
The Eden Club. Jeez. Yeah, that's it. Try blood, of course, or these. Try blood, of course. There's examine, read, and hold. Fingerprints. Carlos Ortiz. Signs of a struggle? Right. Uh, read. I don't really have time for reading, but okay. Oh god, this is gross. Okay, I don't really need to read that. That's kind of gross. Murder weapon taken from here. This is a great detectives. Right, I think we're done in the kitchen. I believe. I don't want to read it. I'm good. Nope. Let's go. Next place. RA9? There's this whole thing with RA9. I love that music though. It's awesome. Religious offering? <sighs> Ready. Sorry guys, my cat is just acting so strange lately. He won't shut the no f up. No one wants to stay here. I really don't understand why he has to do this shit anymore. Let's go back into the living room and examine the body. There's something weird in the bathroom. Did you take a look? Uh. Ah. Jesus Christ, this is so gross. Victim fell here. Victim was stabbed. I don't get it. But also they're not analyzed. Oh, there you go. They came from the kitchen.
like I know everything. Do I talk to Hank? Do you shut up, please? God, I don't know why you have to freaking do shit like this anymore. I should take him back to the freaking pound. See how that see how it feels about that. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Just give give me one second, guys, while I go deal with this. Alright guys, I fixed it. Shouldn't be hearing from him anymore. Let's go back into this. Hate that cat sometimes, I tell ya. Uh, let's check it. should we check outside? Alright, we've been in here. Where else is there to... Look around. Is there a way to get outside or am I just trapped in here? Open. Shoe print. The door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Deviant didn't escape this way. Hmm. Okay. Is he still in here? Like legit? Up there. It's like the perfect place to hide. Dude, where else am I supposed to do? All right, I'm out of here. Thanks for the ride. Great party. Wait, Lieutenant. I can't stay if you leave. As much as it breaks my heart, this is where we part ways. I just need five minutes to finish my investigation. Please, Lieutenant. Remember the drink I bought you at the bar? Just five minutes. Five minutes. Thank you, Lieutenant. Whatever. I really feel like I've done everything I can. Um, if these people would get out of my way. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you, mate. I hate the movement. Alright. Let's figure this out. I'm telling you, that's probably where he is. Because I've done everything I can in there. So, go forward. Connor. My name is Connor. I'm from Sober Life. Have I been in here? No, I have not been in here yet. This is the missing shit. I have been. This is the exact same place. Jesus, Lou, I thought it was a different place. Oh, open. Can I? What am, what am I supposed to be doing? Need evidence. Is that no, nine? So there's like, oh shit! I really do have five minutes. Okay. Um. Uh. But what else is there? I feel like I've done everything. I legitimately only have five minutes. Maybe I just gotta talk to Hank. Because I feel like there's nothing else I can do. Hank. Talk to me. Shit. Only got three minutes, 30 seconds left to finish this damn investigation. But where? Kitchen knife. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Oh, for the love of Jesus Christ. Where, where am, what am I doing? What am I supposed to be doing? Yeah, just get in my way, dude. That really helps. Where am I going? I don't know what. 
am I supposed to be doing? Where, where am I supposed to be looking, dude? I feel like I've done like everything I can. You here? Hello? Should have said more than five minutes. Legit, dude. Oh, right here in front of me. Jesus Christ. Terrible detective. Fingerprints. Dent. Deviant took a knife. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Hmm. Simple. Report to Lieutenant Anderson. Let's do it. Thank God. It was right in front of me the entire bloody time. Ah, uh, where is he? There you are. Hank? Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. Question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... with the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. Gotta remember all this now. The android threw the chair. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. Shit, sorry. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The victim fled to... The living room. And I tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. Hmm, it okay. was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. I already know where to go, actually. What? To the attic. I'm tell you, he's up here, bro. A ladder was used. I betcha. I bet. What? Oh, it's that way. Sorry. Pardon me. Solving crime. This is lead to the attic, it's what I said. Right, I need to find something to climb. Let me grab a chair. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. I well am. Gonna check something. Oh, 
Oh god, that is creepy. Jeez, alert. That is creepy. Oh no, please. Ah, oh, it's a dummy. Bloody mannequin. Oh shit! Alright, he's up here. We gotta get him. I mean, we don't really have to do anything to him. He's just, he's just defended himself. Oh no, he's gonna jump out, isn't he? Oh, there he is. I know, I know. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Why don't you do that, Connor? Idiot. Come on. Right. Wow. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> Must have something was going wrong. All right. So we found the deviant. Connor told the people that he was up there, which is kind of mean. But that was a really good episode. I, I really liked being a detective. That was amazing. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this episode, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all soon for another episode of Detroit Become Human. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.